Hi, Carlos. Hi, Elmer. Hi, Daniel. Del Cid. Hi, Daniel Mendez. Good evening, my dear teacher. Hi, Elmer. How are you? <laughs> fine, fine. How are you, daughter, teacher? It's better. Better. It's better, better, yes. Better than yesterday. Yes, actually, yes. Okay. Thank you, Elmer. How was your day, Elmer? Fine. A lot of a lot of the work, but it's okay. Okay, very good. That's good. All right. Carlos, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Teacher. Excellent, very good. Daniel and Daniel, how are you guys? Hi, good evening. Fine, teacher. I sit back here trying to learn new things about Excellent. English. Excellent. <laughs> very good. All right. Very nice. Um, remember that tomorrow we will have a class, okay? Because I wasn't yeah. able to be in class last Tuesday. All right. So uh, remember that tomorrow I'll see you, okay? Same time, same place. <laughs> okay. And then tomorrow the idea is that we're going to practice. I mean, we're going to review... Uh, anything that you want me to hold on and we're also going to look on the uh, the final exam okay okay so that's the idea for tomorrow all right very good guys so let's see we're gonna talk about um, unreal conditional from section five have you studied that one have you guys studied it Yes, teacher. Yeah, all right. What about the rest of you, Carlos and Daniels? Have you studied Unreal Conditional from, from the platform? No, teacher. Not yet. Okay, all right. That's okay. Hi, Carlos. Alberto. <laughs> I have two Carlos today. Oh, my goodness. All right. So, um, my dear teacher. Yes, my dear student. What, what, when is due date for the end of the platform? On Sunday. On Sunday. On Sunday. Yes. Uh, and on Sunday, uh -huh. I have to finish. Yes. Okay. All right. Thank you. Uh, rem you're welcome, Elmer. And remember that the next course is going, it's, I mean, they have planned it to begin for the second. Okay. Okay, so that depends, but it depends on everybody sending all the material and depends on um, everybody sending all the documents and finishing the platform, okay? So if everything is okay, we should begin or we probably, we will probably begin Monday, March 2nd. So that means that next week we won't have classes. Do you guys understand okay, that? Teacher. Yeah. Tomorrow, tomorrow, yes, the Excuse me? Tomorrow the last class. Yeah, tomorrow's last class. I mean, it was supposed to be today, the last class, but I couldn't I couldn't teach the class on Tuesday because my daughter was sick. So we're gonna teach tomorrow the last class. Okay. And then yeah, next week we have no classes. Uh, doesn't mean that right. we have a rest. When, when yeah. finish and uh, when finish the course tomorrow. Uh, uh, for the platform. For the platform, uh, Sunday. Yeah. Sunday. Oh, okay, okay. Uh huh. Y por eso es importante que esté mañana, verdad? Porque mañana vamos a trabajar en el final exam. Al menos adelantan en eso. Okay, teacher. All right, very good. Y luego teacher. Next, yes, Elmer. Uh, I, I write in the WhatsApp. Uh -huh. I pass the the song answers. Oh, okay. Yes. Test. Thank you, Elmer. All right. Okay. Thank you so much. So and also remember, tienen que mandar. I'm gonna say this in Spanish just for you to like know what I'm talking about. La otra semana, en teoría, empezamos el 2 de marzo, pero depende de dos cosas. Una, de que se ha completado toda la plataforma, todos los estudiantes. ¿Verdad? Y la otra es que hayan vuelto a mandar documentos y sus papeles que requieren de su parte para que puedan, los puedan volver a inscribir y empecemos el 2 de marzo. 
Pero yo recuerdo que antes Marvin molestaba y molestaba para que uno terminara eso. Y ahora nadie lo está molestando. Y ahora, ajá, no, a mí mi preocupación es eso, lo que acaba de decir, de que si todos lo completamos, empezaríamos más temprano, pues. Ajá, para o sea, más, más temprano más... porque me, me, me da hueva después. De verdad que hoy me ha costado. Claudio, yo soy hueva. Iden, Iden, Iden. Lazy people. Very lazy. Sí, de hecho, sí, él me tiene razón, ¿verdad? Pero eh, en teoría todos tendríamos que ponernos como las pilas, ¿verdad? Para terminar todo. Eh, para el domingo más tardar, a un Sunday, para que el 2 de marzo se empiece. Si en caso se, se digamos, no toda la gente tiene la documentación o hay gente que aún no ha terminado la plataforma, pues entonces ahí se empieza a retrasar la fecha, ¿verdad? Entonces, por eso es importante lo que dice Elmer, que todos trabajen en la plataforma, lo tengan todo al día terminado y luego los documentos para que se empiece lo más pronto posible, que sería el 2. Por lo general siempre tomamos una, una semana de vacación. ¿Verdad? Cuando son así, obviamente no la, el último, el año pasado, que llegó Navidad y obviamente la pausa fue mucho más larga, pero cuando es de un curso a otro y no hay pausas de vacación, entonces siempre tomamos una semana para que usted se, de, se relaje un ratito y pueda ahí estar más tranquilito en las noches. Sí. All right. Carlos Alberto, ¿y usted qué se me había hecho? <risa> Es que tuve un problema con, con la máquina, se me dañó. Entonces, entonces. hasta ¿verdad? hoy he iniciado la plataforma y todo. Carlos Alberto. Sí, dicho. Oh my God, va a ser tiempo récord. Sí, no, no, eh, verdaderamente no me voy a conectar por, por eso, porque se me dañó. Entonces, hasta ayer pude conseguir esta, intenté, intenté conectarme ayer, pero no pude configurar todo, así que hasta hoy. Bueno, mañana Carlos va a haber clase, oye, por lo general acuérdese que no hay clase jueves, pero yo tuve un problema de salud de mi hija, entonces eh, vamos a reponer la clase que no di mañana. Ok, okay y ahí excelente. adelantamos un poquito con, con la, el examen final, al menos empiece por el examen final. <risa> sí, All right. <risa> Very good. Ok, thank you guys. So, pónganse le está al día haciendo con bullying, Tiche, le está haciendo no, bullying. No, no, no. Así se vio. Sí, pero con cariño, <risa> vaya. <risa> Mamá, yo también. Ah, mire, ve, no se habrán retornado los que me habían abandonado. No en mí. <risa> Oh my God, no es mí. Hello, ¿se acuerda de mí todavía? Y si niñas, si los milagros suceden. Eh, tiene razón. Igual, Ay, mira, no, mañana vengo corriendo. Mañana Dicha. tenemos clase, no, eh, oye, porque tengo sí, sí. Que, vamos a reponer la que no di la vez pasada. Oye, así que, que, que. Sí, yo soy hija, perdón. Mejor, mejor, ahí le cuento. Va. Pero ahí vamos. Eh, así que mañana eh, no faltan las últimas dos clases, por lo menos, no es mí, qué barbaridad. ¡Qué vergüenza! Yo pensé que todos iban a andar viendo perales o algo ahora, Dios guarde. Mm. <laughs> Dios guarde. <laughs> All right, guys, so let's begin. We're going to talk, <coughs> excuse me, we're going to talk about uh, Unreal Conditionals. The Unreal Conditionals, just for you to know, they are situations or expressions <laughs> that you wish, okay? That they are not true. That's why it's called unreal conditional because it's not real. All right? If I tell you I am Jessica, that's a real sentence because I am Jessica. If I am Claudia, that's unreal because I am not Claudia. All right? So unreal conditional is something that is not real, but you think maybe. Okay? So now the unreal conditionals is when we talk about if. Okay, so if I say, if I went to Canada, I would find my friends. Okay, so that's the, those are the, uh, the unreal conditionals that we use. There are, there are four types of conditionals. There are four. A conditional, like zero conditional, first conditional, second conditional, and third conditional. So right now we're talking about the unreal conditional. So I want you to see this. This is, this is in the platform. We're not really going to listen to everything, but I just want to show you this so you have an idea of what I'm talking about. Just give me one second. We're not going to have this video here. Okay, can you see what I'm saying? 
Yes, teacher. Very good. Okay, so we have, this is the grammar structure of unreal conditionals. In unreal conditionals, we, I want you to understand that we have two sentences or two clauses. Clauses are like short sentences that you put, that you put together, okay? So we're going to divide the sentence in two parts, in the if clause and the main clause, okay? So the if clause will begin with if, okay? What, what conditional is this? This one is the, uh, the first conditional, I believe. All right, okay. let's see. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. All right, but this one is called the unreal conditional, all right? So we say if plus past simple, all right? So if I say if I had money, what would happen if I had money? I don't know. I can think. I don't have money, but I wish I could have money. So I said, if I had money, then that's the if clause. So the if clause, you make it with if plus the past simple of whatever verb you want. Okay? If I ate, yeah. if I studied, if I spoke, if I met, if whatever you want, because this is just, you're wishing, you're thinking, okay? So you say if plus the uh, past simple of the verb, that's the if clause, then the rest of the sentence says, you may use would, could, or might plus the verb, okay? That's okay. pretty much how it is formed, all right? Now it says here that it's important to take into account that in conditionals, this is only, this only happens in conditional sentences. It is usual to see that he, she, and it instead of was. Acuérdense que hemos aprendido por años de que usted dice uh, he was, she was, it was, porque es un pasado, ¿cierto? Yo digo, Carlos was my student last year. Uh, yeah. eh, Noemi was my friend. Not anymore, mentira, no. All right, was my friend. But now in um, Unreal and Unreal Conditionals, we are not going to use was, we're going to use were. All right, only for these ones. So instead of saying, look, look at the example, it says, if he were friendly, you don't say if he was friendly. You say, if he were friendly, we would be good friends, okay? So if you notice here, we have if he were friendly, that's the if clause, comma, all right, then you have the rest of the sentence or the rest of the main clause, we would be, now you can choose between would, could, or might, depending on what, on what you want to say, okay? And then the okay. other verb is a normal verb, okay? Okay, sure. Let me see hmm. here if I have another sentence. Hold on. Hold on. If I use was, is wrong. Sorry? Yes. I mean, yeah. Grammatically speaking, you need to use were. Okay. If I said, if I were you, I don't say if I was you. All right, but only, Daniel, for these conditionals, because in normal, like, simple past of be, you're not going to say, he were my friend. You're going to say, he was my friend. Yeah? Okay. All okay. right, let's see. We have these examples here. Right now, this is talking, or the teacher's talking about punctuation. Okay, and this is the use of a comma is mandatory when the if clause is at the beginning. So if I say, if I were in France, comma, I would visit the Eiffel Tower, okay? So every time you begin with if, you need to remember to write a comma, to divide or to separate the if clause with the main clause. You understand that? Guys, yeah. hello, yeah? Yes, teacher. Sure. All sure. right, very good. So look at the example. The other one, it says, when the if clause, you can switch the sentence and it's okay. When the if clause is at the end of the sentence, we do not use a comma. So you said, you begin with the main clause. I would visit the Eiffel Tower. 
if I were in France. In that example, you don't have a comma. All right? So only you use comma whenever you begin with the if clause. You understand that? Yes, teacher. All right, very good. Let's see here. What else I have? Hold on. Hold on. You need to watch the punctuation always. All right, here. Okay, so here are more examples. If she had, she doesn't have it. If she had a lot of money, if you notice you have if plus the past simple, had. If she had a lot of money, she could buy a new apartment. In this sentence, I'm using could because that's what I want to express, a possibility, okay? They would be happy if they won the lottery, so I switched it. And on the first sentence, I begin with the if clause and I have a comma here. If she had a lot of money, comma, she could buy a new apartment. On sentence number two, it says they would be happy if they won the lottery. No comma. Okay? And then it says if he were president, comma, he might reduce taxes. Yeah? Do you guys understand? I don't understand the tense of this sentence because... Um, the clause if is past tense but not really right yeah yeah, uh -huh. yeah that's what, i mean this is how yeah this is how you make the unreal conditional uh -huh. when you want to express something that is not real this is the structure the grammatical structure that you need to use simple past and could would or might but no it's not past right no it's not no, it's like saying, um, it's not a future, but it's like an imaginary situation, which is between a present, a past, and a combination of... Okay. Yeah, so when you talk about, for example, when you talk about zero conditional, Daniel, you have simple present in the if clause and simple present on the main clause. Uh -huh. So you say, if I, I don't know, if I am hungry, I eat because that's real all right so if i am hungry i cook okay if i have money i buy um a house okay or if i if, huh? <laughs> if i have money i go to table dance oh my my gosh <laughs> okay el mercito if that makes you happy <laughs> Yes, you have All a lot right. of money. Okay, I'm not going to go into that. All right, do you guys have questions? All right, do you have questions? No, teacher. It's okay, clear. now, something that you need to remember is the word yeah. for he. I have a question. <laughs> Tell me, Daniel. Um, if I say uh, they will be happy if they will win the lottery, uh -huh. is that it correct? It, yeah, because it's another conditional, not the one that we're studying right now. But it's the same idea, or no? Not really. I don't know. No, it wouldn't be the same idea. Okay. All right. Okay, I'm going to give you some examples. Well, I'm going to actually show you. Let me just get this out for you here. Oops, no. I'm going to stop sharing. Just give me one second. I'm, I'm going to get the, um, the exercises for you. Let me see it here. The tree. Uh -huh. Hold on, guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Just give me a second here. Okay. So what I, you know what we're going to do right now while I look for the exercises? I want you to go. I'm going to send you to your groups right now. And I want you to think about some sentences. Let's think about five sentences, okay? 
I want all these sentences to begin with the if clause, not the main clause. Okay, so I want you to think about five examples where you can use the unreal conditional. And I want you to begin with the if clause. You understand what you're going to be doing? Yeah, yeah. I, uh -huh. only, only start with if. Only start with if clause, yes. Okay. Just give me a second. I'm going to send you right now to your groups while I look for the exercises. Sentences and we're coming back, okay? Okay. Okay. Just give me one second. Okay, I'm creating the rooms right now. There you go. Cool. Maybe I could buy a car. 
Mm-hmm. I would yeah. be happy if I ate pizza. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. If I had money, very good. I could buy a car. Very good. Teacher, mm-hmm. if I if I use I can buy a car is incorrect. Yeah, because you need to use it on the past. In the in the um, past in the clause if, but in another. Um, ah, hold on. If I had the, money. Ah, if I had money, I can buy a car. It should be. Say, it should say could. I mean, can. Sorry. If I had uh, money, I can buy a car. Uh-huh. Can is correct. Ah, hold on. No, because you're. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, you're using could, would, or might. Oh, okay. So I could okay. buy a car. Mm-hmm. Then will you use a uh, would, should, could? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Uh, it's not simple present. Not really. The thing is, like you're using the in the in this kind of sense, you're using like modal verbs. Ah, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, Noemi is yeah. calling me. I'll be back. We used was, but in this case, porque estamos hablando de 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 a real conditional, we 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 are not going to use the. The was we are going to use where, where instead of was. That's right, Daniel. Very good. Le hablábamos, teacher, porque bueno, yo casi no entendí el el tema. El tema, ajá. Uh-huh. Por ahí me estaba echando la mano, Daniel. Pero si usted me ayuda con las primeras y con lo que le estaba explicando ahorita, uh-huh. en en ocasiones que podemos usar el where sin ser uh-huh. el El complemento como el verbo to be. ¿verdad? Ajá, lo que pasa es que acuérdense que siempre, siempre, siempre usted cuando habla que el verbo to be, usted dice uh, en pasado, ¿verdad? It was, he was, she was, it was. Yes. Excepto cuando hablamos del unreal, de los, en este caso, de unreal conditional. En lugar de decir was, la gramática nos permite decir were. En lugar de decir. Pero no escogeríamos en ninguna falta. No, ni, no, no, ni no, ni no de, hecho, de hecho tendría que usar el were. Oh. Entonces yo le digo, if uh, Daniel were my brother, I would, I don't know, invite him to Mexico. All right, so whenever you use he, she, it, or I, you, you, you have to use were instead of was. Esa es como una regla, ¿verdad? Que es como la, eh, lo especial, digamos, que de repente no va a decir I, if I was, sino que dice if I were. Y no es que esté malo. En este contexto, en este uso, sí está permitido. Ya. Yeah. Okay. Y, y, y en lo de arriba, uh-huh. la estructura. Sí. Y llevo if eh, de primero, lleva la coma después. Exacto. Para separar, ¿verdad? Acuérdense que los, en este caso los conditionals se dividen en dos clauses o en dos partes. Eh, En dos segmentos, la, la if clause, que es cuando usted empieza su oración diciendo if tal cosa, y el main clause, que es su cláusula, digamos, o eh, oración principal, va al final. Si esto es así, usted pone una coma después de cuando termina su if clause. Por ejemplo, si ve el ejemplo, dice if she had a lot of money, coma, she, acuérdense que en inglés repetimos el sujeto varias veces, o el pronombre. So if uh-huh. she had a lot of money, coma, she could buy a new car. Okay. I mean, a new apartment. ¿verdad? Ahora, si usted le da vuelta, que no hay problema al darle vuelta, puede decir, she could buy a new apartment if she had money, if she had a lot of money. Cuando usted le pone, antepone el main clause a la if clause, ya no pone coma, porque el if es como que fuera la coma. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ahora, el uh-huh. if, la, la cláusula o la parte de if, eh, lleva, en este caso, su verbo lo tiene que usar en pasado, simple. Entonces dice, si yo, eh, perdón, if I ate, if I traveled, if I drove, if I ate, if I danced, if I worked, cualquier verbo que a usted se le ocurra tiene que ir en el pasado. ¿Ya? Y el, 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 su main El pasado clause, normal. El pasado simple. El, el común y sil, silvestre. Sí. Ajá. Uh-huh. Okay. El pretérito. Y luego, uh-huh. she could buy a car. En la main clause vamos a usar could, would, or might, y luego el verbo en su forma base, ¿verdad? She could buy. 
Eh, they would be happy. El be no está conjugado ahí. Eh, he okay. might reduce taxes. Entonces podemos usar could, would, or might. Y luego el verbo que le sigue va a ir en su forma base sin conjugar. Okay. Okay. Okay, teacher. Yes. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. So five Thank sentences. You. Okay. Ahorita. Um, before we won't finish, no. is we don't hungry. Say it again. Mm -hmm. Carlos say we won't finish, is we don't hungry. We don't it finish. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Is we don't hungry. We That's are perfect. not, we are not finished. Is, we are. I, I teach you. No, mm -hmm. teacher, I have I have here the different uh, examples. Uh -huh. uh, the first one is uh, we won't finish if we don't hungry. Yeah, but you cannot use won't right now. You're using could, would, or might. Might. Could, would, or might. Might. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Okay. I, I and have, remember I, that in the if you need a simple past verb. Okay. Okay. Um, check. Yeah. I won't. Uh, my case, teacher, is yes, the dog. Mm -hmm. If the dog had a bone, could mm -hmm. be play in the garden. If the dog had a bone, he or a she ball. eat a ball. I'm oh, sorry, a ball. He um could play in the garden. Yeah. I could play in the in the garden because it's in the home. Mm -hmm. Yes. If I were fish English class, I could be go to China. Pero tenga cuidado con la conjugación de verbos, eh, Jennifer. Dígame otra vez esa oración. If I were finished in past, uh -huh. uh -huh, finished yes. in past English class. I could be go to China. I could go. No. I could go to China. I could go. Yeah. Be, no. No. I could go. Or I could be in China. China. Mm -hmm. okay. All right. Oh. You finish your uh, sentence? Uh, the meaning is the uh, area China. Yeah. Ajá. Yo podría ir a China. Porque tiene el could. Ah, el could. Ah, ok. All right. I could go to China. And the next, if he won the game. Mm -hmm. uh, if he won the game. Mm -hmm. Mm. He could. Um, no, it's a, a little difficult to me. Mm -hmm. okay. If he won the game, he could. He won the game, he might get a scholarship. Remember that you can use could, would, or might, depending on what you want to say. Uh, he might? He might. Get a scholarship. Okay. Si él ganara el juego, él podría tener una beca. A scholarship. A scholarship, yes. Beca. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Yes. Okay. He's calling, uh, he will uh, arrive to, to work. He will arrive to work. He would arrive to work. No estamos usando el futuro. Estamos usando el would, el could, o el might. El might, ok. ¿Mm? Is class plus main class. Yeah, ajá. Uh -huh. If class yeah. plus main class, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ok. Let me just go check one more group, ok. Ok. Ok, teacher. Que yo tenía entendido que era... Ajá, Rocío, Jaelmer. Hi. Hi, Hi, my dear teacher. How are you? 
Fine. How are you? <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Uh, I I make the I made the sentences with if with if Rocio. I, it's we uh, yeah if we <laughs> go to the cinema I say it again Elmer if, <laughs> if, if I went if I went ajá puede mostrarle Rocío a la a la a, a mi uh -huh. querida profesora yes uh... Where can I uh, with compartir? Uh -huh. Sí. Share the screen. Uh -huh. My dear teacher. Yes, Elmer. Ahí está. Can you see? <laughs> no. Did you see? No? No, no, no. No, no, no. Yet. ¿Eh? Yo creo que ya empezó. If I went to the party, we would have fun. If it was, uh, if it rained, yeah. ocupe yeah. raining como verbo. If it rained, yeah. uh, uh, if it rained we uh. could not play soccer. Or we wouldn't play soccer, depending on what you say. If I had enough time, I would go to the gym. If I had enough time. Number three. If I enough. Have, uh, enough. Enough time, yes. If you went to the theater, we could have dinner. Okay. If we if you went to the theater after we could have dinner. If I had to work, I could not go to church. <laughs> And the church or that church. The church. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's church. Yeah. Uh -huh. Thank it's you, my dear teacher. Very good. Nice Thank sentences. You. Okay, we're going to go back right now. And then I want you to take a picture of an exercise so you can work on it, okay? Okay. So, voy a cerrar los grupos ahorita. Yes. Hello. Hello. Hello, teacher. All right, let's see. Rocio and Elmer, can you share one sentence with us, please? Sure. Sure. Uh, if we went to the theater after we could have dinner. Okay. If we went to the theater, mm -hmm. we could have dinner after, or that's okay, that's okay. Very good. Uh, let's see, Noemi, what do you have? Okay. I, <coughs> if I, I were young or If I were in an orchestra, I would like to play the guitar. Okay, if I were in an orchestra, yes. I would like to play the guitar. The guitar. Very good, nice sentence, very good. Jennifer, what do you have? If the dog had a bone, uh -huh. he could be playing in the garden. He could play in the garden. He could play. Could play. Could play. Yes. Okay. All right. Very good. Nice. Okay. Um, Ani Garay. Ah, no estaba con um, con Noé, verdad? Es que Ana, me voy incorporando. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. A ver, eh, Daniel del Cid, what do you have? Um, I will be happy if I ate pizza. I would be happy if I ate pizza. Me too, Daniel. Thank you. <laughs> Very good. Mm -hmm. Carlos Emilio, give me one sentence. No, Carlos is not around. Walter, hi, Walter. ¿Qué se me hizo, Walter? Anyway, I don't know. Ah, hi, Walter. 
Walter, give us one sentence, please. Do you have one sentence that you can share with us? Okay, if I had money, I could travel around the world. <gasps> Me too. <laughs> All right, very good. Okay, Daniel Mendez, give us another sentence. Yes. <laughs> if I were a bird, uh -huh. I would like to be an eagle. Oh, that's a nice sentence. Very good. Carlos Alberto, give us another sentence. I think so. Uh, if I were finished English class. Mm -hmm. Okay, what would happen? Yeah. If I finish uh, English class, uh, uh -huh. Yeah, I sleep in, uh, to my bed. Okay, you would sleep. <laughs> okay, you would go to sleep. Okay, no. bless you, bless you. Excuse me, kiss me. That's okay, Walter, bless you. Mm. All right. I'm gonna share this with you right now. Please take a picture. Oh my goodness. Please take a picture of these. There are 12 sentences over there that I want you to look, okay? So take a picture of them. Finished? Nope. Yes. No, Yeah, I got it, teacher. Good. Everybody has finished? Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right, I'm going to share this with you then. I'm going to stop sharing y regresen a sus grupos and finish that exercise. Hay unas veces que van a, bueno, van a complementar, ¿verdad? Depende de lo que le piden si es if you give the leaf clause, you finish the main clause. If they give you the main clause, you finish the if clause. Okay? Okay. Okay.
Ya lo mandé, lo, lo puede ver. Ya me va a caer. What number are you guys working on? Perdón. Anyone because uh, we don't have a, a picture. Oh, yeah. why not? Yeah, one. Do you want me to share with you again? Um, in my cell phone, it's a little difficult to take a, the a screenshot. Oh. I don't know why. In, in the group, mm -hmm. teacher, mm -hmm. uh, no le aparezco yo en el grupo porque no me caen los mensajes. No sé, Jenny, regáleme su número para ver si está. 75. Ah, bueno, dígame. 74, quiero ver. Voy a ver cuál es el número que ando acá. 75 34 74 01 75 34 7401 7401 Sí, porque no me aparece, no me caen los mensajes del grupo. Mm. Okay. Mire este niño Carlito, ya nos había perdido todo el año. <risa> Estoy bien descontinuado, Ticha. Sí. Pero todo bien. Carlos. ¿Perdón? Todo bien, a aparte de eso. Sí, sí. No. Yo, yo sigo ahí con bastante trabajo, pero por lo demás todo bien. Excelente, muy bien. All right. Y Carlos, usted tampoco pudo copiar la imagen. Solamente lo tengo en, la, en el teléfono y lo mandé al grupo, pero no le ha caído. No sé si lo puede ver usted, lo puedo mandar al grupo. No sé por qué no me aparece en el grupo. Espérame, Jenny, que no tengo mi teléfono aquí a la mano ahorita. ¿Dónde está? Espérame, aquí voy a hacer. Ok. Hola Jenny. Llega teacher. Dice que no la puedo agregar a Arona Guay. Sí, porque yo tengo los dos números de inglés corporativo, pero en ninguno me caen. Y en el correo que le mandaron al principio, cuando iniciamos este curso, no le... Uh, no. Ahorita no puede ver el mensaje. Yo sí. Sí. Ya, ya le cayó. Sí. Su número sí. es 7660. Sí. Pero me sabe qué voy a hacer, voy a agregar a Jenny, a mí, a mi contacto. Pero Jenny, ténganos paciencia. <risa> en y se me había olvidado decirle porque a mí no me caía ningún mensaje de grupo. Mm, pues claro. Espérame.
Le voy a mandar la foto. Ahorita le escribo y en hija y le pongo. Mire si le cae. Ah, es que ese es el suyo. Sí, ese es el mío. Pero bueno, de todas maneras ya estamos a punto de terminar este, ¿verdad? Entonces cuando se inscriba en el siguiente, en el correo informativo, ahí le aparece el link que usted tiene que auto inscribirse. Ahorita se lo mandé, Jenny. Ok, gracias. ¿Le cayó? Sí. Ok. All right, very good. Trabajen entonces en eso, please. Ok, teacher. Gracias. Gracias, Picha. Bueno. Hi, Elmer. Hi, Rosillo. Hi. Hi, my dear teacher. Are you finished? Rosillo, write the, the answer, teacher. Uh, it's good he... for, for, for redact the, the answer, teacher. Of course. Uh, no. <laughs> he... Uh, He dictated me. All the sentences. <laughs> yes. No, you, no. <laughs> you, you, can, can you read the, 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 the screen, teacher? Uh, yes, I can. If John did more exercise, he would lose weight. Very good. Miss Smith spoke Chinese. If, sorry, if Miss Smith spoke Chinese, she could work at Hawaii. All right. <laughs> Very Huawei. good. <laughs> ah, Huawei. Ah, Huawei. Ah, Huawei. Huawei. All right. A million dollars, uh -huh. I could travel around the world. If you lived, tendría que ser, in uh -huh. the past, in past, you could live mm -hmm. for 150 years. Cool. Yes, like a bibble. Bibbles. <laughs> if you take, if you took care of your health, you could live for a uh, wow, wow, wow. I want. Yeah, if I said. <laughs> If I sent my CV, I might look for a new job. Okay. If I won the marathon, people would be very surprised. If I read the letter, he would laugh. If I would laugh, oh no. If mm -hmm. I read the letter, I would laugh. Oh, if he read. No, or, eh, eh. uh huh. Ah, yeah. If he read the letter, he would laugh. Okay. If aliens landed on Earth, we could learn from them. Very nice. If animals could talk, oh no, they would tell us when they are sick. When they are sick. Uh, uh, I... Yes. Okay. If people lived on the moon, the moon would be a mess. Totally. If I spent all my <laughs> money... I would have many problems with my family. <gasps> Esa la hizo Elmer. No más cree, teacher, yo no. Ok. No en vano, no he tenido un año de alumno. Ve sí. que no me conoce bien. Ah, no, no. La hice Rocío. Ya, yeah, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Ya ves, cría fama y échate a dormir, se llama. Eh, vea que ella no me quiere. No. Bueno. Pero yo sí, eso es lo importante. Eh, ok, muy bien. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye. In this case, where is the past? Or funny. Hi, Annie, Walter, and Daniel, and no. If I... How many people are here? <laughs> if I, if were... I were funny, omitieron el if en ese mensaje. Yes, I'm sorry. I, I forget to add the if. Uh -huh. <laughs> if I were funny, he would laugh. Okay. okay. The number nine, if aliens landed on Earth. People would be scared. People, yes. People would be scared. Yes, ma'am. Uh, people would be, would be, would be scared. 
care. Ideas care is correct use, please care. People would be very scared. The number nine. If animals could talk, could talk, if animals could talk, si if animals animal could talk, lograran if, hablar. Uh -huh. If animals could talk, um, La vida fuera más fácil. <laughs> the, the life. I don't think so. <laughs> you animal could talk. Es más fácil. Um, Entraría ahí de que las personas se asustaran porque están hablando. True. What number are you working on? Ten? Ten, yes. Um, y the, the people were more happy. <laughs> Escríbalo, Ani. No sé si este sería correcto, pero para el nombre, para el nombre 10, Noemi could talk to her dog. Uh, especially when the dog is participating in class. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, I'm going to close the rooms and we're going to check the answers, okay? Okay. Hey, Ray. Happy. Okay, guys, I'm going to share with you the screen of the answers. Uh, some of them might change. Just make sure that uh, whenever you're writing it, double check your tenses, okay? Remember that we're talking about simple past for the if clause and could, would, and, um, and might, depending on what you want to say. So here are some examples. If John did more exercise, he could be healthier. He would lose weight. I don't know what else you have. You can have many choices. If Mrs. Smith spoke Chinese, she would get, she could get a job in China or she could travel to China or whatever you want to say. Just make sure that the, the tenses of the verbs are okay. If I want a million dollars, I would call my mother, okay? Or I would buy a house or I would travel around the world. I wouldn't work. That's important, okay? <laughs> Uh, if you were a turtle, you could live for 150 years or um, some other information using if plus the simple past. Remember that for everybody, we use were. For I, you, we, they, he, she, it, were in these type of sentences. Uh, if my boss didn't like me, I might look for a new job. If I wrote a book, people would be very surprised. Or if I won the marathon, or something else. If you told a joke, he would laugh. Or if he would, um, if he read the letter, he would laugh. If aliens landed on Earth, they might kill us. <laughs> All right. If animals could talk, I wouldn't eat them. <gasps> Can you imagine a cow talking to you? Yeah. Or the chickens. Uh -huh. Or the pigs. Oh no. no All right. <laughs> If people ha lived on the moon, it would be a mess. I would also live there, all right? And the last one, if I spent all my money, I would be poor or broke, okay? 
Again, lo, obviamente las respuestas no son iguales a las que tiene, solo necesito que se fije que los tiempos de los verbos estén como tendrían que estar. All right? Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, guys, so remember right. we have a class tomorrow. We're going to uh, talk about the very last topic of section five, and then we're going to work on the final exam. Okay? Okay. Okay, Ma mañana no tienen excusa, nadie, ni me Noemí y Carlos menos. All right. <laughs> mm. All right, thank you very much. Gracias, thank you. Yes. No I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Thank hey, teacher. Okay, bye. Thank bye. you. You're welcome. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.